Hi, this is a uh, review for the E-Mag made by Magpul for the 30 rounder. Now, currently, uh, these only are made in one real form, and it's kind of a weird thing. They come with a P-Mag top follower thing, also or dust cover. Uh, sorry, not follower. But um, now I can't remember off the top of my head what these springs are, but it uses a better spring, and the spring has a better coating and whatnot. But basically, it's the higher end version of the P-Mag. Now. Also, the E-Mag is developed because, even though they look exactly the same as a P-Mag for this, the basic standard layout, uh, they're made to fit more of the specialty weapons of, uh, for example, the HK416. And it fits better than a standard AR-15 MIG, and it, it fits, it just, you know, works, functions better. That is more or less the difference between the E-Mag and the P-Mag. And the E-Mags are more or less just a little bit more fancier version of the P-Mag. But they're in general the same thing. Uh, they come with the same dust cover. And a neat thing about them, though, I mean, uh, same for P-Mags. If you have the window, you can uh, see the markings for 5, 15, and 25, and then 30, it doesn't have it. But uh, as you can see, when you load it so much, it'll be 5, and then if I had another another finger, I could get that down further into 15. And So it definitely has a neat, interesting way of estimating your rounds left. So, and then obviously if it went down past 25, you'd actually see rounds going all the way through there too, so. But, um, I mean, it's an amazing mag. They run for about 18 to 20 bucks. Um, definitely worth it. They featured the anti-tilt follower, so. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just, they're, they're amazing mags in general. So, uh, this one also features the ranger plane. They don't come with their standard, so. But, um. Uh, Feel free to comment, rate uh, my videos, and feel free to also subscribe and check out my other videos. And uh, thanks for watching and take care.